guys, it's Elisa. Um, so I'm coming here today to do two things. The first thing I want to do is show you my, I got a box today of a makeup collection. It's my favorite makeup company. It's called Medusa's Makeup. So Medusa's Makeup is an independent vegan brand. It's $15 a month and it's vegan cruelty free and it's just an um like it's a really bright like poppy fun brand like it's not uh it's it's very like the colors are really strong and so anyways i'll show you what so this is what i have i've been getting there um for a while now they're uh um okay so here i will first show you a lipstick I made this a little dirty, sorry. I was doing my makeup and I got some dust on it. But so this is the packaging of the lipsticks. I love their lipsticks. They're super gorgeous colors. I hope you can see the packaging correctly. But they're super beautiful colors and and they just have beautiful lipsticks. It's like, I think one of my favorite things. Here's the lipstick. The gorgeous, gorgeous red. So I'm gonna swatch it so you can see it. You know, it's just, look at the beautiful red, strong, like super creamy. Ugh, I'm not good at swatching, obviously. Super creamy, just like a gorgeous red, like beautiful lipstick. So first one, love. Then I will show you I, I think this is everything, but we'll see. I might have some stuff in my purses, but um, the next thing I will pull out is this eyeshadow. Also got stuff on it. This eyeshadow, this is my favorite eyeshadow. I'm wearing it, the red. So, um, like, I love it. It's just this, you know, this is like a color I wouldn't think to buy for myself, but it's like, it's like a penny. It's like a copper penny, honestly. It's the exact color of a copper penny. And it just goes on so well, you know? Like, I don't know if you can see on my arm. It just goes on so strong. So, anyways, so that's that one. It's a cool color. They're different, you know? I'll go through a couple more of them, and then I will probably open up the box and then tell you the rest of my story. But here's another one. Here's a green. See, these are the shadows. And they have fun names. Like they have fun, this is called Heroes Glam Rock. This is a Glam Rock series. It's called Heroes. And it swatches like insane also. It's crazy. You can see. This bracelet my sister made for me. She has a company called Double Happiness Jewelry, by the way. It's Wonder Woman. I hope you can see it. I hope we get some light shot. She made it for me. She also made this ring. So, shout out to her. Double happiness jewelry, Wonder Woman. Okay, so those are some shadows. And then I will show you a couple of their glitters. They do a lot of glitters. So like, here's a glitter. I don't know if I can show it. They're real, look at that. Oh, it's so friggin' and stunningly stunning. Look at that color. It just popped up from that purple glitter. Like, I, uh, again, I hope it shows up. I hope those colors show up correctly. I should take my bracelet off. The purple one. Anyways. So anyway, so that's my favorite makeup brand that I love so much. I'll show you one more. You know, like, here's a lip balm. Cool colors. Like, there's, there's like little purple glitter things above this clear. This is kind of a clear, actually, because I've tried it on, but. All right, so let's open the new box. Dun, 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 dun. There's more in this bag, but. Okay, new box. This is March's Medusa's makeup box. You always get it at the end of the month, by the way. So, let's see what we got. So, cucumber facial toner, vegan, vegan, equality free, sprinkle free, cruelty free, vegan, cruelty free, sprinkle free. 
So if I got a face toner, that's cool. Cool. I just did my makeup. Whew. Very cute, very fresh. Very cucumbery. Mmm. Tastes like cucumbers. Smells like cucumbers. Alright, so next we get a mascara called Witch Lash. Witch Lash Mascara. Let's open her up. I always have a hard time opening these. I've actually gotten this mascara before. So, anybody wants it, let me know. I'll send it to them because I've already got one of these. So just let me know. Shoot, I should have kept it in the box. That was stupid. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll just give it to a friend. I'm going to give this to a friend. Okay. Next. Disco Queen. Extreme Sparkle Lip Gloss. Ooh. This is hard to do. Mm -hmm. Is it editing times we edit? Wow, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That to me looks like, it's called Disco Queen. It's got purple specks and sparkles in it. I don't know if you can tell. The light hits it. Sort of like a, um, a raspberry with purple in it, like a raspberry punch shade with purple in it. It's pretty. Let's see. It's like a really light, it's beautiful actually, but it's a very light shade of purple. This one, I don't know if it shows up. It's really pretty, there's a lot of purple like glitter in it. I'm not sure, I hope it shows up. Anyway, so that's really nice, that's cool. I could try it on, why not put some on? Over my lipstick, why not? I don't have that much on my wand. Okay. Last but not least is a, a glitter in blue. And I'm not going to open it up. It's called Comet. Uh, yeah. You shake it. But I'm not going to open it because I don't feel like popping that open. So that's Medusa's makeup. So check them out, guys. They're so good. And like I said, this is just because I actually love them. Um, not sponsored. So, okay. So now the other subject. So, um, so I did my first round of Taxel on Friday and I was way more affected by the Taxol than the medicine before Taxol, which I will get the name and write it somewhere in here, because I don't remember the name of it. But, um, so Taxol was on Friday, and I basically slept through the whole thing. I filmed it, but, um, like, I took, you know, words of wisdom. If you have Taxol, there's this thing called, um, Oh my god, neuroblastoma, which means like your fingers, tips, and your and your toes hurt and your feet hurt. So my doctor told me to put ice packs on my feet and hands through the entire experience. And so um, I did. So I, I personally didn't experience any, um, not yet, not any neuroplasticity. But again, it's my first, uh, it's my first chemo, like since being back. So that was that. So then, like, as far as, like, health side effects, like, I have had many, many side effects of this experience. So the first one being about, so I had my Taxol on Friday. Friday night, I was pretty okay. I was super tired 
on Sunday. Okay, so um, yeah, so I was really, really tired. So then that happened, like super fatigue. And so then finally, um, it was like the Wednesday after, so like a whole week had gone by. And that night, like I woke up, like my tire just killed. And I was just like in major pain on my chest for like all night. And then in the morning, like it switched to my back and my lower back just killed, you know, like it moved spots. And so I was like, damn, this is like so painful. So um, anyways, I called the doctor and she said that it was the, the Nulasta or something like that that was making my bones hurt. So what I did when this all happened to, first of all, I took, first I, I did my meds. The first day I took actually like my meds for pain, my pain meds, cause it was, it hurt that much. But then what I have done every single day, like, um, and, and, and progressively every day I got less bad. So now I'm kind of okay today. I'm good, okay, I'm okay. But what I did, I have done every single day during this is I've done yoga every single day, no matter what, like that I've been just at home, just by myself. And even the day that I was in pain, I did like 20 minute relaxation, gentle yoga, because I have found that that actually like takes my pain away, makes my strength get better. So like, you know, even though like I'm in chemo and like, you know, I'm just getting all chemo bodied out, like, um, you know, on a steroid that like still keep putting the weight on you and just on the, on my chemo, I get on steroids that make me feel awful and bloated. I get on, um, pain meds that can give me a, like a stomach ache if I take them. Um, you know, so, uh, so yoga to me actually is the only time that my pain is kind of healed is during my yoga. And I just think it's like, I, that's how I fight back. You know, like I have to keep doing my yoga, getting better at it. So that's another thing that I really, really suggest is that if you can do yoga, I think specifically yoga, um, just like a little bit at home or whatever, like if you're going through chemo, just like do it if you can, because it will make it like less difficult to go through chemo, honestly, because like, even though I was like terrible, I mean, I still did my yoga and I still felt better for that. Like you still get those endorphins of, of doing the yoga and doing exercise for your body, despite the fact that like, I was still terrible at my yoga. Don't get me wrong. I couldn't do anything, but I did it. I've been doing it. So anyway, so that's kind of a long story about everything. My chemo, so my first chemo, you know now how it was, um, you know, and today is one week post first chemo. So I'm, I'm, I'm get, every day I got better after I got worse. So that's it. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this story and uh, like and subscribe. Love you. Peace.